Hello my beautiful queens and welcome back to my channel. It's Rani here and today I will be creating a very casual, quick and simple autumn look which you can wear every day. If you would like to know how I created this look then please keep watching. Moisturising is key and applying a good one goes a long way for the overall look as it acts as the base of your makeup. For this I used my Rich Moisturiser by Simple. This is really hydrating and yet doesn't feel heavy on the skin. I have been using this for a while and it's always good to change your products every so often. So do let me know if you guys have any suggestions for any good skincare or moisturisers. Next I used my NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer for a naturally glowing skin and really massage this into my skin with my fingers as this gives more control over the product and allows for an even spread. Moving on to foundation, I went in with my go-to product by L'Oreal in the shade Creamy Beige. This is a perfect medium coverage foundation and gives an almost blemish free skin finish look. Though it does allow a few blemishes to peek through, which is something I really like as it gives a more naturally glowing appearance. You can build the coverage up with this product as well. But for this look, I only applied one coat of this on, which is about two pumps, as I wanted to go for a breathable skin finish look. I popped this on and blended everything with my beauty blender. Then moving on to brows, using my small angled brush and my MUA single eyeshadow in the shade Chestnut, I filled my brows in. Before applying my false lashes on, I went ahead and curled my lashes with my eyelash curler to help blur the transition between my lashes and the lash extensions. I did go ahead and apply my false lashes on thereafter. I did have my lashes cut to size prior to applications just to help reach my eye size and comfort level. To complete the eye using my matte eyeliner by Maybelline, I went ahead and joined the lash extensions line onto the rest of my eyes. This liner was perfect for this as it comes with a small stroke, perfect for precision and control. Moving on to the face, I went ahead and used my contour on highlight sticks by Maybelline. I'm not usually a contour and highlight stick fan but I went in for this to help create a subtle everyday look. I used the contour side and popped this onto my cheekbones, forehead, nose and jaw bones and blended this out with my stippling brush by Real Technique. This product is very creamy and applies very quickly and smoothly. The only thing I wasn't a great fan of is the shade as it was slightly on the greyer side which I don't like as it makes my skin look muddy. I then went ahead and applied the highlight from the same stick and applied this under my eyes, under my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, chin, cupid's bow and the middle of my forehead and blended this out with my beauty blender. Moving back to the eyes, using my L'Oreal Superstar False Lash Mascara, I applied the black onto my lashes to combine the lash extensions and my lashes together. This mascara does come with two ends but I only applied the black and not the white primer as I was going for a natural look. So I used the top coat for a lengthening effect. I did go back in with my Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline as I just felt the shade on the stick just wasn't bright enough and I also went over the contour lines as well as this was a very cool shade of contour and I wanted to go in and just deepen the colour and intensity of the shadows. Then for bronzer I used this from the Revolution Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit in the Ultra Light to Medium palette and used the shimmery bronze shade in this and applied this onto the areas I had previously contoured. I used this palette as it kept the overall look very neutral and calm but yet very warm and autumny. So if you know me or you have previously seen my videos, you would know I don't usually use a lot of blush, if any. But since I was going for an autumn inspired look, I wanted this to be very warm shades and calm and neutral. So for this, I used my blusher in the shade Golden Lilac by Bourjois, which gave a nice pop of colour and dimension to the face while adding just a slight shimmer. For lip, I did want to keep this very autumn tones again so I went in with my True Brown Kylie Jenner Matte Liquid Lipstick Kit and applied the lip pencil to help outline my lips. I do usually fill my lips in slightly for the lips to look seamless. Then I went ahead and applied my liquid lipstick on and rubbed my lips together to make sure the products and the different textures were properly blended in together. And there you have it, the look is now complete. I hope you enjoyed creating this autumn look with me. Don't forget to click the big thumbs up and subscribe below, comment and share. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Mwah.